Hey guys, I'm Nick. I'm gonna take a few minutes today and talk to you about a video I just saw earlier this morning on YouTube. I was getting ready to change oil in my truck, came outside. I had a notification from YouTube, you know, go to reply, I hit home, and it was a video listed there for me to watch or whatever. And it said, is kayak fishing dead? And some someone named Joseph Herrick posted it. I, I'm not sure who he is. I may have pronounced his last name wrong. I've never met him or seen a video before or anything. And it said, what the kayak industry doesn't want you to know. So obviously uh, it's a bunch of clickbait, right? But you know, I had to click on it, clickbait, come on, what else do you do? Uh, it's an interesting topic and I have thought about it for a long, long time and, you know, I agree with him. Like, I I agree with a lot of things that he said in that video. I'm in the garage, there's a car driving by, but not gonna be able to hear me. Uh, Alright, car's gone. So, I, I agree with a lot of things that he said. Now, kayak fishing is not dying. Now, I don't mean kayak fishing is not dying, but the industry itself, kayak manufacturers, now you see it, if you spend any time and you really have been around the community or you really kayak fish, you see all these new kayaks come, there's knockoffs of every brand. It drives the pricing down and we'll call it capitalism, right? So it it provides areas for kayak companies to come in and produce a kayak much cheaper than the expensive kayaks. And that's what he's saying. It, it makes sense. So if you look at it, you know, seven, ten years ago or so, there were no one, like there was no one who really kayak fished in the town that we live in, like period. I could go kayak fishing for weeks and not see another kayak. Now there are kayaks everywhere. What he touched on was there are so many pro staffers that get kayaks that every year they sell them. So there are kayaks everywhere, but that is taking away from the money that the kayak companies are making. And that is why the kayak industry is going downhill. Now you see kayak companies and he mentioned them all fighting to build thousand dollar kayaks and they are. It's something that they've been doing for years. Who can build the best thousand dollar kayak? How many corners can we cut? How short can we make it? What can we do to get a $999 kayak and compete in this cheap saturated market? It's very, very interesting to see. I love it. So if you look into it more and you start to pay attention, you'll see that the big manufacturers have done one of two things. They've lowered their prices or they have tried to go off and develop, I call them Bentleys, right? They try to develop a Bentley. Like Hobie went out, they did this 360 drive. And that's cool. It's not for everybody. It's kind of weird. It takes both your hands. You can't fish and use both your hands and go sideways. It's just not possible. Um, then you look at like Old Town. Old Town was like, hey, let's lower our prices. Now they had to raise that price 100 bucks, do some tariff issues. You saw that happen. They didn't really advertise that, but the kayak that was 2,500 bucks is now 2,600 bucks. And they're going to go back and forth and they're going to release some new kayaks and things are going to change a little bit. But you're seeing the industry itself like he mentioned a company called brooklyn brooklyn kayak company now i know someone who bought one of their kayaks i've never seen one in person um i i can't say i've heard good or bad things all right but they make a pedal system on a kayak and it's a simple bicycle pedal style whatever someone else commented and said hey they don't really have a community so i'm gonna buy a bigger brand named kayak because i need something my phone is ringing because I need something that has a community and has a support system. It's interesting to see cheaper kayak. You can get a pedal kayak for far less than you can get from Old Town, Native, or any of the other big manufacturers. But are you getting the quality of the product? Are you getting the support system, customer service, and so on? Kayak fishing overall is not dead. There are more kayak fishermen in this town than I've ever seen. It's actually unbelievable. It's kind of annoying, to be honest with you. They follow you around. Super annoying. But they are everywhere so there are some guys giving him a hard time he's not wrong the industry itself is hurting that's why you have kayaks trying to kayak companies trying to build thousand dollar kayaks and kayak companies trying to build five thousand dollar kayaks they're trying to find a niche they're trying to find a market and it's hard to compete when all your kayaks cost 2500 bucks then you just well which one do i like more that's what it comes down to other thing that he talked about you know, we talked about pro staffers, a whole bunch of that, you know, in the video and how it saturated the market, did these things it did. Pro staffers only have the ability to reach their small little networks and everyone thinks they have these great expanse networks, but now there are so many pro staffers, half the people that those guys, the original, we'll call, he called it a class and it makes sense. The original group of people that were pro staffers, they influenced all these people, but now all the people they influenced are pro staffers. So they just, influence each other in a little circle. Oh man, check this out, check out this lure, check out this kayak, check out all these things. And they aren't helping the community. They aren't branching out. They aren't influencing anyone else other than the people they've been influencing the entire time. And my wife and I talk about it all the time. 
that is like one of the biggest flaws of the kayak community. It does not influence people outside of it. And that's how I make a living kayak fishing by taking people who aren't in the kayak community kayak fishing. Obviously I've made a living for four plus years now. I support my whole family, my, my wife, my kiddos. We live in a pretty expensive area. Kayak fishing, uh, don't have any sponsors, zero affiliations because the industry itself is super tiny. It's the same 50 dudes doing the same thing over and over and over again and influencing the same people. And it's been that way for five plus years. It's very, very interesting to see. Some of these guys are mean to this dude in the comments and they disagree, but he wasn't saying that the industry, or sorry, he wasn't saying that kayak fishing is disappearing because there are more kayaks than ever. The industry, the innovative, the go out, make these awesome marketing videos, that stuff is disappearing because it doesn't influence anyone other than the people who are already seeing it. You, obviously, you know, you have to have some marketing input to see that stuff. The average consumer doesn't pay any attention to it because you all you realize is what you see on your Facebook or what you see in your suggested YouTube videos. Like you're probably watching this video because I watched the video and then I titled it similar to his. So you guys who just watched his video would have, this is a suggested video. That's marketing. That's how it works. But you have to be able to branch out and reach people who aren't in that inner circle. And the kayak industry does not know how to do it. They don't. They haven't been doing it for years. They haven't done it well. They've reached a certain point. They've reached that, you know, he said like 20 to 25 year old gap between 20, you know, 2013, 2014-ish. And then no. And it has slowly been dying. And all these other companies were like, man, I'll just make my own kayak. I'll go to China. I'll have them roto mold this thing for me. We'll bring it back in. The plastic will be thinner. No one's going to care because they're going to save a thousand bucks. We'll use a knockoff pedal system. Boom. Hey, you know what? I want to have a Mirage kayak. Well, let's Hobie's patent expired. Let's just put a Mirage drive in a kayak. That's okay. Let's cut a few corners here, a few corners there sell the kayak cheaper and then convince people to go out and buy Hobie drives to put in their cheaper pedal kayaks. That is capitalism. All right. That's how it works. It shouldn't be. It's kind of annoying, but that is what happens. None of these new kayak companies are innovating anything. They're just trying to provide you a cheaper product and that cheaper product gets people in the door. And you know what happens? People go out, they buy those cheaper kayaks. I see it all the time. They buy that cheaper kayak, they buy a cheap pedal kayak, and then they go, man, Nick, I should have bought that expensive one. Yeah, you probably would have saved a thousand, you know, fifteen hundred bucks if you just bought the expensive one the first time. But super interesting topic. I will put a link to Joseph's uh, video below. If you haven't seen it, you should go look at it. He has a good point. He has he made super valuable points uh, or valid points, and I mean I agree for the most part. So I appreciate you guys watching. I uh, didn't mean to rant too much, but it is a topic that is very, very interesting. And I would like to see your guys' input on the comment section. Let me know. Uh, be respectful to everybody and their opinions. Don't be, you know, don't be a dick, all right? Everyone has a different opinion. Be respectful. Drop the comments. Let us know your opinion. I look forward to reading them. Thanks for watching.